What's up everyone? I'm recording this video on Wednesday, September 8th, 2021. And I'm going to show you a new subway passageway that opened yesterday along with the new 42nd Street shuttle platform. This platform connects to the Bryant Park station. really nice so this is the 42nd Street Times Square station I'm exiting the uh, NQRW downtown platform And we want to go this way towards the 42nd Street shuttle platform, coded S. This transfer passageway is interesting because you can travel between 5th Avenue and 8th Avenue completely within fare control and access all the subway lines along the way. So we need to go over here, shuttle the Grand Central. And you can see there's a new connection with signs to the B, D, F, and M trains at the next station over, 42nd Street, Bryant Park. Over here is the old uh, platform for the 42nd Street shuttle. Now it's been turned into a, a fair area. People can buy Metro cards. You can see the old sign for the Knickerbocker Hotel. So the original uh, station that opened here on the um, 42nd Street shuttle. Originally the station was called 42nd Street and Broadway on the IRT, Interboro Rapid Transit Company but that got absorbed into the MTA. These are the old IRT uh, rail guards. And here's a shuttle train coming now. What's great about this platform now is now that it's, now it's ADA accessible and there's less of a curve. It's been straightened out, so there won't be big gaps in the platform anymore. anymore so. People can easily take this train towards Grand Central. This train only serves two stops, Times Square and Grand Central. Also, this shuttle train has a six car set now. Before, it used to be either three cars or four cars. And this uh, renovated platform where we, are, where we are on right now, used to be the old um, tracks three and two. So they turned one of the uh, tracks into a pedestrian passageway. If you count down clocks two, which is great. Tracks one and four are the only ones in service now. You can see in the shuttle trains, they got rid of most of the seating to accommodate more passengers which isn't a problem because it only serves two stops. It's like one of the shortest uh, trips in the subway station, uh, subway system. So here it is, Bryant Park, 42nd Street, 6th Avenue, pedestrian passageway. All complete with new artwork. What's up? That's me. Is that the real action? That's me. Yo, it's this guy, man. Hey, what's, what's up? up? All right. All right, man. Yo, how do you like the show, man? Good. Very nice. Oh, it is amazing. It's amazing, yeah. Can you believe now there's like 16 trains in the It 
crazy, yeah. All right, yeah, nice meeting you, man. You too, take care. So, new pedestrian passageway. Brand new artwork, I think it's gorgeous. And now there's a new countdown clock here for the 6th Avenue lines. The B, D, F, and M. You can see the old uh, tunnel wall above us. This runs right above the tracks of track three. Now from a practical uh, use, this tunnel will be great for when it's bad weather outside. If it's windy, raining, snowing, you can walk completely underground between Bryant Park and Times Square for a transfer. And also, I don't really think this um, passageway is good for transfers with the exception of the BDFM and the 123. On the 6th Avenue and 7th Avenue, um, lines respectively because the other trains they already had good connections before the BDFM and the 123 uh, trunk lines are notoriously hard to transfer to within Midtown Manhattan all the way to Lower Manhattan the only other options were uh, 59th Street Columbus Circle which is served by the one local train but not the two or three express and then uh, 14th street which is served by the f and m but not the express b and d so this is the bryant park station we just walked from bryant park i mean from times square to bryant park And here's a transfer to the 7 train. What's kind of interesting is because this passageway opened up, this is the first passageway in the system that connects two consecutive stops on the same line without ever having to need uh, to leave fare control. So you can uh, walk from the 7 train station at 5th Avenue all the way to the 7 train station at Times Square 42nd Street without ever leaving the station. Or the uh, fare control, I should say, because they are two separate stations. I really want to know how the MTA is going to do the subway announcements now because uh, they are already pretty long at the 42nd Street Times Square and Port Authority, 42nd Street Port Authority Complex. They're like, this is Times Square, 42nd Street, Transvale, the ACE, NQR, 1, 2, 3, 7, Grand Central Shuttle. And now they have to say, also available as a passageway to 42nd Street, Bryant Park, a connection to B, D, F, and N. All right, so now we are walking under 42nd Street. Here's the 7 train at 42nd Street, Bryant Park. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk back the other way. And I'll show you the 7 train at the next stop, 42nd Street Times Square. And I might as well walk all the way to the Port Authority as well. 
so you know how deep of an extent that this uh, these passageways go and if it's practical for you or not but um, like I said before I think the most practical option for this passageway is during bad weather and to transfer from the 6th Avenue trunk line on the BD F&M to the 7th Avenue and Broadway line on the 1, 2, and 3. Also, you could transfer from the BD F&M to the A, C, and E, but that's a long way walking um, two avenues underground. It's not recommended. Because the uh, NQRW, you can already transfer at the next stop at 34th Street, Harold Square pretty easily. You don't have to walk an entire avenue underground. So that's not really a practical uh, transfer. The 7 train, you wouldn't want to walk to uh, Times Square 42nd Street because of the connection here at 5th Avenue. Maybe you want to uh, get the Grand Central Shuttle, but that doesn't make any sense because you could just take the 7 train to the same stop that the shuttle serves. Alright, so here's the passageway. Got a rail fan here. Brand new staircase. Also, to avoid walking all this way from the BDF and M, M to the ACE. You can take the subway down to West 4th Street where it's right upstairs on the 8th Avenue line. So you don't have to walk so far. Also, you could always take the D train to uh, Columbus Circle and get the 8th Avenue line that way. Or the B. The B uh, doesn't run on weekends though. This is a pretty cool passageway, if I might add. What's up with the water, though? Oh look, on the other side they have the uh, Broadway line up, the N, Q, R, and W. That's good to know. And here's the Times Square shuttle platform again. I like this new platform. Very wide, spacious, not as claustrophobic as before. There's 
all brand new equipment all along the shuttle track. Here it's running pretty fast. At that rate, it probably gets a Grand Central faster by running through the passageway and then getting out on 42nd Street and uh, Bryant Park. What if he made his train? Here's the NQRW platform. Up this way are the platforms for the one, two, three to uptown the Bronx and downtown South Ferry and Brooklyn. There is an I always hated, trans hated transferring to the Port Authority station. It was always so far from the Times Square station underneath here. If I could help it, I'd rather uh, walk outside. And here is the 7 train platform at Times Square 42nd Street. So I just transferred from the 5th Avenue Bryant Park Station all the way to Times Square 42nd Street on the same line. I could have just stayed on the 7 train and made my life easier. But instead I did the stupid transfer like an idiot well this is just for demonstration purposes only I wouldn't recommend anyone to transfer from the 7 train to the 7 train two avenues over completely on the ground maybe they should add that to the uh, subway announcements on the 7 train Transfer is also available to the 7 train at 42nd Street Times Square, but you have to walk two blocks underground and if you do, you're an idiot because you could have just stayed on the train and gotten off at the next stop and save yourself like 15 minutes of walking. Authority bus terminal station. I prefer the uh, shuttle train passageway a lot better. A lot more modern and smells better too. Oh, 
also not to mention this passageway is a lot hotter than the other one. So you see why I don't recommend transferring from the BDF and M all the way to the ACE via this corridor. It's just so long. especially if you need the uptown platform because the downtown platform is right here but the port authority uh subway station the uptown platforms are offset and it's up a lot higher than the one at the downtown platform which i don't know why they did that but Here's the exit to the Port Authority bus terminal, North Wing. You've got to walk all the way almost to uh, 44th Street in order to take the Uptown train. Here I am finally at the Uptown and Queens platform on the A, C, and E. And uh, I think I'll end my video here. If you enjoyed it, then please smash the like button for me. Subscribe for some more videos like these. And I'll see you next time. Hope this passageway helps some of you. And this is my train. Perfect.